Welcome back pilots. In this guide we are going to look at the game modes of Titanfall and how to play them. There are currently five game modes in the game, so let's get started with Attrition. Attrition is the most basic and easy mode of Titanfall. This game mode is basically a team deathmatch. Each enemy you kill in this game mode will get you points, whether it be AI or enemy players. All of the points you and your team get will be added to your team's total score down the bottom left of the screen. The blue bar is your team, and the orange bar is the enemy team. To win this game mode, your team has to reach 300 points, which is increased from 250 in a recent update. Killing spectres and grunts will give you 1 point each. Killing players will get you 4 points. Killing titans will actually get you 5 points. When your team wins, you have to stop the enemy team from getting on their evacuation ship. You can do this by either killing all of the enemy team or destroying their evacuation ship. But what if you lose? Well if you lose then the roles I just explained would be switched over. So this means that you would have to be getting on the evacuation ship and the enemy team will have to try and kill you all or destroy your ship. Games of attrition usually last around 10 minutes. So guys, enough of attrition, let's move on to last titan standing. In this game mode everyone will start in a titan and everyone only has one life. In my opinion, this game mode is the hardest in the game because of that. Bear in mind you are allowed out of your titan and if your titan does get doomed you are allowed outside of it to carry on the game. But bear in mind as a pilot you're probably nothing compared to a titan so it's probably best to stay inside your titan during this game mode unless you get doomed. So you're probably asking, what do you do on last titan standing? Well, all you have to do is your team has to be the last titan alive on the map. This can be one single titan with everyone else dead, bear in mind. There is six rounds in last titan standing. You must win at least four of these to become victorious in the whole set. You are allowed to respawn every round as well, so keep that in mind. Halfway through each round on last titan standing, you switch sides, kind of like football. So this means that if you start on the north side of the map, you will get switched to the south side of the map. Last titan standing usually only lasts a few minutes, so it's a very quick paced game and it's very tough. So then, enough of those metal fatties, let's move on to hard point. In hard point, there are three points on the map. For your team to get points, your team has to own at least one of these points on the map. In hard point, you also have to hit 400 points to win the game. Bear in mind, the more points that you own on the map, the more points that you'll get for your team over the time playing this game mode. Also bear in mind that in this game mode you will need quite an organised team, so it's probably best to play with friends on Skype or another voice chat software. If the enemy owns one of the points on the map, you can simply run over to it and start taking it over, but only if there is no enemies within the vicinity of that point. Once you've cleared out all the scumbag enemies, this is where you can start taking over the point on the map. Once took over, it will start giving you points for your team, and you can carry on with taking over the other points or guarding the existing points. Killing enemy players and AI will not get you any points on this game mode, so just try and keep the points on the map, as that is the only thing that will get you points. Rounds of hard point can last up to 15 minutes, so be prepared for one of the longer game modes on Titanfall. So now then, we're on to capture the flag. Capture the flag is one of those simple but fun game modes. Each team has one flag. The UI at the bottom left of the screen will show if anyone is carrying the flag or not. And all you have to do is either protect your flag or go over to the enemy flag and bring it back over to your flag to score a point. Now this might sound quite easy, but bear in mind, you can have titans and there are enemy players there to kill you. So if you're carrying the flag, your flag will be dropped, they can pick it back up and it will return back to their base. Bear in mind we've captured a flag, if you are carrying the enemy flag and you are at your base but it won't score, that means your flag is not there. You have to have your flag at your base to score. To win capture the flag matches you have to return the enemy flag to your base six times. Halfway through each capture the flag match the teams will switch sides on the map, just like in last titan standing. Matches of capture the flag can last any amount of time really, it just depends how fast you are at capturing flags or how fast the enemy team is. So then guys there's one last game mode to discuss and that is 
Pilot Hunter. Pilot Hunter is another team deathmatch like game mode. All you have to do is literally kill other pilots to get points. Now each kill is worth one point on the team bar. The point limit on this game mode is 50 points. So to win the game you just have to get 50 kills or your team has to get 50 kills. Killing AI does not contribute to your kills on this scoreboard. That's about it really for Pilot Hunter. It's a very simple game mode and the matches are usually very short around 5 to 7 minutes. Anyway guys I hope you really enjoyed this second video of the Titanfall guides. I'll be doing more in the near future and there's a lot more videos on my channel to come. So then, one last thing guys, let me know what is your favourite game mode on Titanfall and why. Also leave a thumbs up if you like the video and even subscribe. Cheers guys, see you in the next one.